This is the Weatherbird 2, a research vessel that has been used by the University of South Florida for the last 10 days investigating the oil spill. Some 13 scientists have been on board and they're just now coming home to St. Petersburg. So what's in these containers right here? Water in here has been, uh, was collected from 50 meters. David Hollander was one of the lead researchers on the mission. Do you feel like you're kind of on the, on the verge of really getting a better understanding of what's going on underneath the water? Oh, I think we're adding to the puzzle. We're adding to the pieces of the puzzle. This is where we found the sedimentary oil. Hollander and another expert on the journey, John Paul, sat down with CNN for an exclusive review of their findings. The USF scientists say they found toxic levels of oil and dispersants infecting marine organisms just 40 miles south of Panama City, Florida. The organisms called phytoplankton and other microscopic bacteria in the ocean are the foundation of the food chain. What feeds and fuels the uh, ecology of the ocean. And if those guys are in trouble, then the ocean's in trouble. So far, federal government scientists have downplayed the impact of microscopic oil making its way up the food chain. This is what the head of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration said earlier this month. That fish will degrade that oil and process it naturally. And so it doesn't bioaccumulate. So it's not a situation where we need to be concerned about that. Over time, it will be broken down. USF scientists tell CNN that is a short-sighted view of the danger. NOAA officials haven't responded to these latest scientific findings. The 10-day mission in the Gulf of Mexico was a rocky voyage. The scientists were battered with 12-foot seas and strong storms, taking them within 25 miles of the Deepwater Horizon spill site. All along the way, they found microscopic droplets of oil on the ocean floor. Right here is a sedimentary record from an area that's uh, about 1,500 meters water depth, okay. right adjacent to the deep water horizon. Using UV light on the sediment, the microscopic oil stands out easily. You can see them all spread out all over. There's no reflection, some of those were before, but this is all speckled. And when you turn off the light completely, it looks like the southern sky. Yeah, it looks like a constellation of stars. On it looks it. like a constellation of stars. But most troubling to David Hollander is evidence that the submerged oil is making its way through a region of the Gulf of Mexico known as the DeSoto Canyon. The canyon stretches from just east of the Deepwater Horizon spill site to an area south of Panama City. So the concern is not only that you found the droplets of oil widespread, uh, is but where you found it. Yeah, it's becoming now into these areas that are critical marine protected areas, critical habitats for commercial and recreational fish.